Hey everybody, this is Joe with Greenlight Sound and GreenlightSound.com here showing you a quick tip on how to get your EXS24 preset files, um, presets that would work in Logic Pro's EXS24 sampler to work within PreSonus Studio One's Presence XT sampler, which can open several different file format types, including those EXS24 files. So the library I'm going to try to import today is from a company called That Sound, which makes some great percussion um, one hits and loops. I highly recommend you check them out at IWantThatSound.com. They got some uh, great stuff that works with Stephen Slate's Trigger, but one of their cool libraries is called Organic Percussion. And within it, they have the EXS24 presets. And I've already done a couple of these, but over here you can see within Studio One, you can browse through your systems files. And here are my EXS24 presets for the Organic Percussion library. So here is one, all Kibasa. So I'm going to drag this right into Presence XT. And one of the cool things about Studio One is its drag and drop functionality. There we go. Okay, a problem. So here's the trick with this. If your samples used in the preset are not in the same folder as the preset, which in this case they're not, you have to manually find the samples just once. I'll show you how that works. So I'll go to Show in Folder. And here's my one-shot samples within the That Sound per Organic Percussion Library. There's the Kibasa. Open that up. Error message all gone. In Presence XT, they have this little gray line right here above the keyboard showing you that those are the keyboard notes that activate the sample. So here are some Kibasa sounds. Different scrapes and hits. Okay, so now that that's done, what I want to make sure I do is go up here to create a preset. There we go, store preset. All Kibasa is already pre-filled for me, but I want to put it in a subfolder called TS for that sound. Organic Percussion. I already made that once, so you'll see I'll click OK, go into my presets. Here is the folder for that sound organic percussion. I already did all bass drum and all brush snares, and here is all Kibasa now. So you'll see now, if I go to all bass drum, Hit a few samples here. And then I go back to all Kibasa. I no longer get an error message. Preset comes up automatically, works great. So one more time, we go over to our EXS24 samples. Here we have all rattling. Sorry, all shakers, we'll do that one. So we'll take all shakers, we'll slide it over into Presence XT, missing samples. So we search in the folder and find the shaker folder, open it up. Missing samples gone. And here are all the shakers. One of the cool thing, if you can see that, like I said before, the range is highlighted here for all the notes that are um, going to trigger a sample. It's also highlighted in blue over here on the piano roll. So you can see when you're drawing MIDI in, you'll know you'll be within the range of, of notes that are given. Another cool thing that you could do if you wanted to take the time and label each one, if you go over to here to this snare drum symbol, click there, you can actually edit the names of each of these. So you'll have, um, and save it as a preset. So you'll have each one named and know exactly what hit you're getting each time. So there it is. That's how you get those EXS24 samples into PreSonus uh, Presence XT sampler. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, I've been Joe from Greenlight Sound and GreenlightSound.com.